Hey guys, how's it going? I'm your host again in the Master Bucks, and today I'll be doing episode 3 of Leave a Message with the Master Bucks. It's pretty much a series where you guys get to ask me questions, I pick the top 5, and then those 5, the YouTube owners, get to be in my sub box for until the next episode of Leave a Message with the Master Bucks is aired. Now, of course, kicking off episode 3, we always start off with the first legible coherent question, which today is from a guy named CoolBananas9966, who will win the A-League? Adelaide United, dude, it's fucking... Have you seen Have you seen the league table of the A-League lately? We are dominating and you can't stop us. We are just going to, like, steamroll the entire fucking competition. Just absolutely... Go. Okay, what am I talking about? I don't really follow A-League, really. And, I mean, I don't particularly go for anybody in that league. But only because I'm from Adelaide, that's why I go for Adelaide United. Realistically, who do I think is going to win? Whoever's on the top of the league right now. So, yeah, whatever. But um, either way, guys, that's the first question out of the way. Let's move it on. Next question comes from a guy named Lydon FIFA. I'm assuming that doesn't really matter. And he says, what was your first thoughts on the, about the new graphics and controls in FIFA 12? Okay. Now, uh, when the when the demo came out, I do very remem I do remember making a first impressions video where I said it's like a brand new game compared to FIFA 11. There's a lot of differences. From the trailer, it didn't look like it didn't look that way. But I was really pleased when I actually got hands on play the game because it was very different when you got your hands, especially on the controls. With of course, uh, tactical defending now really changes the game big time. And I still, months into the game being released, have am a complete and total retard when it comes to tactical defending. Like I don't even what's it called when you hold down the LT trigger and it like you know you like. I don't even know what the goddamn name of it is. Like, you're fucking, you're blocking them, you're, I don't know, I don't even do that. I, I still, it's like, I actually, I went through the, um, tactical defending, uh, thingy, and tried to, um, whatever, I'm getting sidetracked. Whatever, I just suck at tactical defending, you should know that. But, nonetheless, guys, what do I think about it? I think, uh, at the, at the first, in my first impressions video, I remember referring it to, um, uh, it's a little bit like Pez, little Pez 2008. I mean, I've could sort of grown out of that. I mean, the graphics are, of course, it looks a lot better than FIFA 11, and it's a very good-looking game, definitely. But um, one of the things that I did notice was, um, uh, or one of the things that I'll just really briefly mention is that um, it's a very different game to FIFA 11, and it's been that way uh, for like every two years. They release a brand new game, which is very different to the previous one. Like for example. FIFA 09 felt like an, uh, an improvement on FIFA 08, and FIFA 11 felt like an improvement on FIFA 10. So it's kind of like every two years they'll come up with something which is maybe not technically revolutionary, but certainly it's very different compared to the last one. Whereas I kind of feel like FIFA 13 may or may not be another improvement on FIFA 12, but I mean, FIFA 12, I mean, it's very hard to improve on it. It's a very good game. Of course, you want to probably fix up referees with fucking... Uh, you'd want to fix up some of the bugs and stuff like with the uh, with the goalkeepers and of course um, referees not being able to handle player impact engine and the player impact engine itself, which is it's impressive, but it's it can be goddamn retarded sometimes. We know it, but either way, guys, we got that out the out the way. Now let's move on to the third question, which is okay. This is uh, this is we got a bit of a dilemma here. If you go on the video episode two, you'll notice that these two questions were asked at the exact same time and they are the exact same questions. So. It's from two guys, Clark Videos and Mazut Ozil123. Now, they ask the exact same question, but differently. So, instead of picking the two of them and just putting both of them in my sub box, I have to pick one. So, I decided to pick the one that has the best grammar. Now, me and some mates were talking about this for a very long time. We both suck at English. I mean, uh, not the biggest grammar Nazis on the planet. I mean, um, whatever. I'm like one of those guys that spells there with like... I, I'm, the, I'm one of those guys that uses the wrong there and here and all that shit. So, like, three-year-old baby crap. So, uh, yeah, so I took it to a couple of mates, and they decided, and one of them, very... Oh, he's a fucking clever boy, and he told me, uh, well, what would what would make more sense if you were to take the first um, on FIFA and in FIFA and take them to the front of the sentence and, like, just pop a comma down... Um, cop, what am I trying to say? put a comma on, on the front of it and continue on with the rest of the sentence and I said it makes sense and if you guys don't technically get what I'm saying I mean like look at this for example with the Clark videos comment say for example this on FIFA 12 comma who is your favorite team to play with and with the Mazur Dozio video uh, with the Mazur Dozio comment you've got in FIFA comma who is your favorite team to play as 
what makes more sense. Of course, it sounds like Mesut Ozil, in that case, has the better grammar, as well as the sentence itself. So, Mesut Ozil wins this one. Clark Videos, I'm very sorry. Maybe I'll get you in on the next one if you can get a nice comment. If you can get a good comment uh, into the comment section. So, of course, go for it. Maybe next time, mate. But, <laughs> yeah. Either way, he asks, who's your favourite team to play as? Mate, Barcelona. <clears throat> what am I trying to say? FC Barcelona, all the way. They are just almost flawless. Of course, they have the best player in the goddamn game. And as well as that, um, what am I trying to say? The only real problem with them would be uh, that they've only got a one five-star skiller. Everyone else is normally four stars, so I really can't complain. But, um, yeah, it, just having the one five-star skiller is a little bit of a pain. If I'm, if I'm looking to play as um, skillers, I usually go as a... You know, I normally play as either Milan, Portugal, or Brazil. Uh, so, but not most of the time, if I'm ever like, okay, I need to win this game, uh, for whatever reason, to avoid relegation, to get into the next division, I always, almost always play as Barcelona, sometimes Spain if I'm really under the pump, but most of the time Barcelona, so I go for them in real life, not like a diehard fan, I don't think that Team Ronaldo are the devil or anything like that, but, um, yeah, you know what I mean. So, yeah, Barcelona, that's my answer, and finally, the next one is... From a guy named Cookie Monster. Have you ever considered doing a mini series where you play your subscribers? Yes, I actually have. I um I considered that uh, a while ago, maybe about two or three weeks ago, uh, maybe maybe even longer. I mean, I haven't really done anything on it yet, though. So um, you know, I was thinking about um, doing either something like that or something where I like go out and I find YouTubers with low subs and give them shouts out because I like their stuff or something like that. But it's still a very good idea for me to be playing with subs. I mean, if you guys want to play me in FIFA 12 uh, yourselves, I will accept all um, friend requests and whatnot. So just, if you want to, by all means, go and, um, what am I saying? Just type in, just go and add me as a friend on um, on Xbox. I mean, my gamer tag is Masterbucks X 7 so it shouldn't be that hard. I mean, but yeah, I'll accept friend requests, and if I'm online and you want me to play me, I mean, I'll go for it. I'm happy to, and... Maybe, who knows, I might actually end up making a miniseries. It's a bloody good idea, so, yeah, we'll look into it. But either way, finally, the last question uh, out of the five comes from a guy named uh, VFB FIFA Gaming, and he asks, which of these players would you like to have a chat to at the bar? A, Emil Heskey, B, Messi, C, Ronaldo, D, Tim Cahill, and E, The Grinch. Now, um, you know, I didn't know that The Grinch played football. <laughs> I want to... Put it in the comment section. If the Grinch played football, what team would he play for? But, whatever. Uh, yeah, but either way, guys, who would I pick? Um, Messi, maybe not. Uh, Ronaldo, maybe not. Only because I really couldn't... Probably because I speak a foreign language might have something to do with it. But, um, yeah, it's probably down to Emil Heskey or Tim Cahill. Tim Cahill, of course. I'll just get to know a fellow Aussie and stuff, and that's always good. But, you know, I might pick Emil Heskey, and uh, the conversation might go something in the way of... Um, the conversation would probably go in the way of, you know, just casual chat. And then I might suggest that he should start up uh, his own pub. Because, um, you know, he seems to be pretty good at putting shots over the bar. Why am I not in stand-up comedy? That's comedy gold. That's fucking brilliant. Either way, guys, that's uh, the five questions, guys. Of course, we're now going to go inside 60. It's where I try to answer as many questions as I can within one minute. And let's kick this off right now. Who, in your opinion, is the best Aussie of all time? What was the first FIFA game that you played? Um, I think it was FIFA 03, maybe FIFA 02, I'm not too sure, it might even go way back, but whatever. Either way, Heskey or Cahill? Uh, Cahill, pretty obviously Cahill. Who do, what do you prefer, skills or team play? I do like team play, but I do prefer skills in terms of just getting a better, sexier goal, really. I mean, so long as the skills goal has a, has a sweet finish, that's all. How old are you? Tits or ass? Uh, is there any way I can have both? Messi or Heskey? Heskey. Obviously Heskey. Yes, by that logic, Cahill's better than Messi. You got a problem with that, bro? Come at me. Do you like planes? Yes. Do you like automobiles? Yeah. Yes, I like trains, I like planes, I like automobiles. Haha, -ha, very funny. And finally, who is your favourite goalkeeper and why? Probably Seaman. Do I really need to say any more? But either way, guys, thank you once again for watching episode 3 of leave a message with the Masterbox, put in the comment section any questions you may have for me. Congratulations to the five that got into my sub box. Hey, if you guys ask a question and put it in the comment section, you may yourself get picked and get in my sub box. So, either way guys, thank you once again for watching this video. 
I'm your Aussie Gamer, the Mask Box. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.